Hi, Assalamualaikum Okay, today we will learn a new topic on fraction What is the objective for today? For today, at the end of the lesson, pupils are able to recognize fraction Okay, the first success criteria You will, you can state the features of fraction and also you can identify the fraction okay what is fraction fraction is uh, consists of some parts okay and each part must be of equal size okay some fraction is consists of two parts and some of them consists of four equal Parts. Okay, which of the following is a fraction? Remember, fraction consists of parts of equal size. Okay, which one is the fraction? The first triangle, the second one, or third, or the last one? Yes, the third triangle is a fraction. Okay, next, which is the fraction? The first circle and the last circle. Okay, and the last one. Which one is a fraction? The second square and the last square. Good. Now, we can already know what is the features of fraction. Okay, 1 over 2. What is 1 over 2? 1 over 2 is 1 out of 2 equal parts. Okay, we have a circle. We call it 1 whole. We cut it into 2 equal parts and we shade one part we call it half or we also call it one over two okay look at the diagram is it one over two no it's not one over two because one over two is one out of two equal parts okay now let's try which is one over two remember one over two consists of two parts and each part must be equal size the first pizza or the second pizza of course one over two is the first pizza Okay, what about this? Which one is 1 over 2? Mm, the pink color. How about this triangle? Yes, the green one is the 1 over 2. Okay, now we know the features of fraction 1 over 2. And we also identify the fraction 1 over 2. Okay. Now, what is 1 over 4? 1 out of 4 equal parts. Okay. We have a, a circle and we call it 1 whole. We cut it into 4 equal parts. Okay, now we shade one part and we call it quarter or 1 over 4. Remember, 1 over 4 is also known as quarter. Okay, now look at the picture. Is it 1 over 4? Yes, 1 over 4. 1 out of 4 equal parts. Okay, now, let's try. Which one is 1 over 4? 
Remember, 1 over 4 must consist of 4 parts and each part must be equal size. Which tomato is 1 over 4? Yes, the second diagram or the second picture. Okay, how about this? The square or the circle? The answer is square. Good. And the last one. Which one is 1 over 4? Yes. The second picture is 1 over 4. So we already know the features of fraction of 1 over 4. And also we have identified the fraction. Okay, how about 2 over 4? 2 over 4 is 2 out of 4 equal parts. So we have a circle, one big circle, we call it one whole. <clears throat> we cut it into 4 equal parts and we shade it to parts become 2 over 4. Okay, look at the picture. Is it 2 over 4? Yes, of course, it's 2 over 4. 2 out of 4 equal parts. 3 over 4? Hmm, what is 3 over 4? 3 out of 4 equal parts. Again, 1 whole. We cut it into 4 equal parts. And we shade it 3 parts. Call it three quarters or three over four. Remember, three over four is also known as three quarters. Mm, is it three over four? No, it's not three over four. Three over four is three out of four equal parts. Okay, let's try this. Identify the fraction. Okay, we already know the features of the fraction of 2 over 4 and 3 over 4 must consist of 4 parts and each part must be equal size. Okay, look at the circle. What is the fraction for the circle? <clears throat> is it 2 over 4 or 3 over 4? Yes, the answer is 2 over 4. Okay, the second picture is 3 over 4. Okay, how about this? We have 3 shaded part. So, this is 3 over 4. Next, 2 over 4. Okay, how about the square? We have two green shaded parts. So, this is 2 over 4. The green shaded part, sorry, the yellow shaded part is 3 over 4. And next one, also 3 over 4. And the last one is 2 over 4. Four. So, we already identified the fraction of 2 over 4 and 3 over 4. That's all. Bye. See you later.